Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Three's Company, more specifically about an amazing blooper that I think you miss from season six of Three's Company. Now, usually work alone. I'm like Batman don't have a Robin by my side, but every once in a while, I mean, I get so many messages, emails, things like that, and I got this idea from Jean A. Jean A is a great supporter of the channel, told me about this, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to share this with all of you, the community, because I think you're just gonna have your mouth gaped open when you realize this. Thank you to everyone who supports me, especially those on Patreon, and for all of you who've hit the subscribe button, with this video I've officially hit 130,000 subscribers, which is totally mind blowing. Um, I, we went from 100 to 130 in a little less than a year, and it's just amazing. It's all because of your support, so thank you very much. Now, Strangers in the Night is a season six, episode 12 from Three's Company. Now, it's a pretty good episode unto itself. I like it, so one where Jack serenades a girl. More specifically, though, He's dating this quote unquote, let's just call her a Southern Belle. Her name is Arabella and he takes her to the Regal Beagle. That's where the blooper is. But before I get to it, I want to tell you about the episode. Now they're there, they have dinner and while Arabella is making a phone call, Lily the waitress comes out, she sits on Jack's lap and she rests those tired feet of hers. Now when Arabella sees this, she naturally gets jealous and storms out. Now the trio and Larry come out with a plan to win Arabella back. Now Jack and Larry go to Arabella's apartment to serenade her. I mean, what good guy wouldn't serenade his lady? Now Jack is doing all the lip syncing while Larry is hiding in the bushes and he's doing the real singing. Now you see a woman's figure, kind of a shadow, a silhouette appear in the window. So Jack naturally does his crazy self and climbs up the trellis, you know, the, the little storm drain there and throws a bouquet to the window. Now the next night, Jack finds out that he sent the invitation and the serenading to the wrong woman. So Arabella comes to apologize for acting up, kind of going overboard, but finds the other woman there instead, which is great. It's a great moment and tells Jack to simply get rid of her. But Jack realizes the true nature of this Southern Belle. She isn't friendly, she isn't sweet, she isn't nice. And so Jack kicks Arabella out instead and stays with the new woman, which I think is a great moment. He treats her great with respect and he calls her a good friend. I love how the episode ends. Now, in order to understand the blooper, I had to explain all of this. So let's go back to the Regal Beagle and see essentially two bloopers for the price of one. Here's what I mean. Now, as I mentioned, Jack is with Arabella at the Regal Beagle, and then the waitress comes out. Now, as a waitress sits on Jack's lap, she's resting her tired feet, she leaves the scene and leaves Jack there. Now, I'm gonna point her out to you and essentially what's going on with the waitress, but she goes into the back room. We could assume this is the kitchen, of course, the kitchen where she gets the supplies and food and drink and all that. And, of course, the actress believes that she cannot be seen, by the camera. So what she does, she just hides her. She just stands there instead of being out of the view of the camera. She isn't doing anything. At some point, I will show you right here, she even has her hands on her hips, almost like waiting in a pose of like, okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the cue. Now Arabella, the Southern Belle comes back, has a little bit of dialogue with Jack, and this is the best moment. Now the first blooper was great because we weren't supposed to see the actress who was the waitress just waiting there for her cue. But what's even better is that she comes out and she's waiting by the bar. There's a man, a stagehand, I'll point him out to you. He's out there for a, a quite a while. Again, thinking that Jack is blocking us from seeing the man in that doorway. He actually points with his whole arm and his finger to the waitress, to the actress saying, hey, it's your cue, get out there. And I'll point it out, it's really funny, it's really crazy to see it behind. Now, all I had to do was really just blow it up for you to be able to see this, but this is in syndication. Whenever you watch this episode, look out for it. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Now, I always go by the honesty policy. Who saw this moment? It's wonderful. I'm so happy to Gene to bring us to 
he, that he told me so that I can bring it to the whole community. So thank you so much. Again, I love doing this. I love making videos, showing these bloopers, showing these fun, cool facts about shows and things like that. If you wanna see more, it's absolutely free to support the channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Again, it helps this video rise up in the algorithm so that YouTube knows we're here so that I continue growing and can continue doing what I love doing so, so much. We'll see you next time. I hope you're staying positive. I hope you're staying hopeful as always. It's super important. It's the last thing I tell you and I tell you in every single video, no matter what, remember, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone for the support, especially my diamond tier patrons. Citizen Kane 359, David D, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally N, Ulysses the P, and Vito L. If you want to join the Patreon family, links are in the description. Thank you.